All right, we tuned in with Young Quan here, man. Yeah, uh, introduce yourself. Let them know what's going on. Man, my name is Young Quan. Um, got down from Tulsa, Oklahoma. You know what I'm saying? 27 years old, from the East Side. You know what I'm saying? The Tulsa man. <coughs> so, uh, what is one thing somebody might not know about you? Um, one thing somebody might not know about me. Uh, I love to paint, man. I love painting, man. Painting is like. It's hella therapeutic. Like sometimes, bro, when I get in, like when I get in my mojo, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, I be so I be having so much going on, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm meaning one thing, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I might get writer's block, and I just go paint something, you know what I'm saying? And it helps me, you know what I'm saying? Get out of that. <coughs> cool. Um. So what made you do hip hop as a genre versus other any other genre? Like, um, what stood out? To me, man, I feel like. I can't really call myself like a like a hip hop a hip hop artist. I'm like a I'm like kind of all around. Like I could do funk. I could do I like jazz. Like I could do all types of music. You know what I mean? Um, rock and roll. Like I feel like I could do it all. So <coughs> for me, like what made me, what makes my music lean towards more of a hip hop feel, I feel like is the upbeat tempos. And, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, <laughs> my beat selection, like the, the beat selection that I use, you know what I'm saying, is hella crazy, you know what I'm saying. But I, I like all different types of music though, you know what I'm saying. So I'm trying now as I get older, you know what I'm saying, to do more um, different type of genres of music and open up my my um, my versatility, you know what right. I'm saying. Okay, cool. Um, so where do you record your music at? Man, I record, record at Soul Rage. If you in Tulsa, man. Oklahoma period, yeah, man. I mean, you ever in the Tulsa area, man, gotta tap in with Soul Ray, you feel me? It's others, though. It's others that's out here doing their thing, you feel me? Shout out on, um, shout out Gino, you feel me? And T. Ellis, you feel me? <coughs> um, shout out my boy K5. <coughs> he produced beats, you know what I'm saying? K5, the GOAT, you feel me? If you ever hear, seriously, K5? In front of any beat of mine, you know what I'm saying? You know K5 did it. So, you know what I'm saying? But I, I recorded Soul Rays, though. <coughs> cool. Yeah. Um, <coughs> so, who do you think your style resembles, or do you have your own style? Are you trying to blend two, one and one together? What you got? I feel like... I feel like I got a real eclectic sound, you feel me? Um, I feel like I don't really... Like, a lot of people tell me I got, like, a like a low-key reggae sound like i'll be like huh you know what i'm saying <laughs> like they say i got like an island feel to me sometimes but i don't know i don't really have like a i don't really feel like my music sound like anybody else's okay you know what i'm saying i don't really <coughs> i don't really get too much um i don't really get too many comparisons like as far as people saying like i feel like you sound like this person or, you know what I'm saying? This person, I don't really get that a lot. Okay, not even on your beats. <coughs> your beats just kind of change up. Um, yeah, I, I try to, like I said, I try to, I try to, you know what I'm saying? Keep my beats pretty eclectic and, and keep my beats kind of all around. I don't ever really um, want the people to get <coughs> to where they kind of know what's coming or what to expect from me. Okay. You know what I mean? I try to keep, um, I try to keep folks on their toes. You know what I'm saying? One. One song I might give you some hard rap shit, and the next song I might give you some R&B shit. So you know what I'm saying? You never really know what you're gonna get with me. You know okay. what I mean? Cool. Now I try to put this out, but this bitch is gonna keep going. I, I gotta <laughs> smoke it, man. 2020. Hey, that's it. I gotta smoke it, man. Y'all see it? I put it down. I tried to stop, but it just kept going. So I'm like, shit, can't waste it. <laughs> um, what is some advice you would give someone chasing their dreams, whether it be music or just anywhere? Um, to any dream chaser out there, man. Never give up, you know what I'm saying? Never never give in, no matter what anybody says, no matter what, you know what I'm saying, the circumstances may look like. Don't never, don't ever give up, you know what I'm saying? And never base, never base your progress or or the timing of your situation on another man's success. You know what I'm saying? Your homeboy and them might might have millions of dollars. They might be on the up and up right now. And you might feel like, man, that's where I'm supposed to be. But everything is about timing. You know what I'm saying? Everything right. is about everything is about timing and, and falling in line. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
if it's in God's will, it's gonna happen for you. Okay. You know what I'm saying? No matter if you believe in God, no matter if you believe in Buddha, uh, whatever higher power you believe in, you know what I'm saying? If it's in that higher power's will that you be successful, you're gonna be successful. You know what I'm saying? It's only a matter of time. So don't base your success or, or you know what I'm saying, your, your goddamn, you know what I'm saying, your come up on the next man's come up. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna come up in due time. Mm -hmm. All right. Some good advice right there. Um, where do you see yourself in the next five years, or what's your plan? Next five years, man. Uh, right now, I am working on this dirty ice cream line with A Star. You know what I'm saying? And Dre James. Uh, Dre just recently moved to Atlanta, so you know the next five, next five years, uh, we're gonna be doing a lot of traveling. You know what I'm saying? And uh, hopefully, man, hopefully I make the big move to Atlanta. You know what I mean? I got a lot of people out there, you know okay. what I'm saying, waiting on me. And uh, that's, that's what we that's what we're working towards, man. That's right. what we're working towards right now. <coughs> yeah. So what has been your greatest accomplishment so far? My greatest accomplishment thus far, I would have to say, it's a toss up between Kane's Ballroom, being a part of Fire in Little Africa and having my daughters. Um, it was a sold out show at Kane, right? <laughs> man, the show was crazy, man. It was crazy. I was I was hella nervous. I've never been nervous before any show before, you know. Um, but Kane's was fucking lit. Kane's was Kane's was lit, man. It had me it had me literally got down almost shitting in my pants, goddamn, I had to go take <laughs> hey. a shit right before we went on stage, cause I'm like, god damn, I look like, you see it in the movies, and like you see it like, you know what I'm saying, on YouTube and shit, when these artists be doing their behind the scenes stuff, you know, like, I went, I peeked on stage, I'm like, damn, it's a lot of motherfuckers out there, like, <laughs> so shit, you know, but, but Kane's was lit, man, um, but, but being selected, you know what I'm saying, as one of the top 50 artists in Oklahoma, you know what I'm saying, to be a part of a Fire and Law Africa, that's a top, that's a top achievement for me too. Because, you know, um, it says a lot that that they think that I'm one of the artists, you know what I'm saying, that can speak for the young folks out here, that right. can speak for the young generation. Um, like I said, I had family, you know what I'm saying, that had businesses burned down in 1921. You know what I'm saying? So, to be able to um, speak for my ancestors that are no longer here and um, invoke, you know what I'm saying, a change, you know what I'm saying, and be part of the centennials, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that shit, though. All right. Yeah. Toss is coming together, man. Slowly man. but surely. Man, I promise you. Man. Um, if you had to pick a label, who would you sign to and why? If not, why would you stay independent? Um... If I had to pick a label, who would I sign to and why? Um, I wouldn't sign to nobody. Um, I wouldn't sign to anybody because I feel like I feel like I don't want nobody to cheat me out of my money. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like I don't want nobody to be able to say like they put me on. You know what I'm saying? Like I want to be able to say I did it on my own. You know what I'm saying? Um, I never really been an artist to take a hand out. I never been an artist to, you know what I'm saying, um, to ever really like ask nobody for nothing, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. I don't, I don't really do features like that, you know what I mean? Um, it's, it's only a few artists that I've actually asked to do a feature with, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like I wouldn't sign to nobody because shit. Let, like who talking like ain't nobody really just talking about no M's like and right. talking about you being able to keep your music, you know what I'm saying? And right. you being able to own everything, like ain't nobody talking about that. Ain't nobody talking about that. Niggas wanna niggas wanna niggas wanna own you. You know what I'm saying? Niggas wanna niggas wanna own you and what you can do for them. You know what I'm saying? Right. Ain't nobody trying to sign you cause shit, they wanna see your life change. You know what I'm saying? They're not signing you cause cause what you could do for you. You know what I'm saying? They signed to you because of what you could do for them. What can you do for their label? That's why they're signing you. Right. Um, I want to be able to say I did for my own label. I got my own label that I'm doing for. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to do for the next man label. I want to do for my own label. 
some good advice. Y'all need to take a listen part of that, man. Okay. Um, don't let nobody change you. Don't. Yeah, you can't. Once man. you get famous, man, everybody, everything changes man, around man, you. Man, everybody and their mama, man. Swear to God, they know you. But they swear to like, man. Where was you at when I was down? Now I'm yeah, up. You want to come along, like? Yeah, you know, like it be like that though, you know. And coming from Tulsa, like a small city like this, like a lot of people don't understand, like people get it fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like people see us, us local artists, and they think we like. We, they most people think we made it already. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. But that's just the Tulsa mentality. That's just the Tulsa state of mind. You know what I'm saying? Right. Okay. So for 2020, what is your plan this year as a whole? 2020, my plan this year as a whole, man, I got to, got to, got to, got to, got to get my visuals up, man. Like, that's one thing I feel like been holding me back, um, is my visual game. Just get my visuals up, you know what I'm saying? To get my visuals out there, and, you know what I'm saying? Get my face in a little bit more. Right. Um, I'm going to drop my tape this year. Um, okay. <laughs> but I definitely, definitely got to get, like, three visuals out there solid, you know what I'm saying, for my tape. I think that was one mistake that me and Tizo made. You know what I'm saying? With with our last tape, uh, Blood Cousins, we didn't have no visuals. You know what I'm saying? We had a lot of dope tracks, right. but no visuals. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, Nothing so to I, bring it to life. Exactly. So I think I think that's one thing that really um that we could have capitalized on, and you know what I'm saying that I'm gonna capitalize, and that I learned about. You know what I'm saying? Um, this music shit with my last album is. You know, I just gotta put out more visuals. I got to get my face seen. Network, man. Network yeah, is key, definitely. for sure. Definitely. So let the people know where you get your IDs for your songs. Uh, my ideas for my songs really just be like everyday life. Shit I done been through, shit I done went through, shit I done going through, or shit that I done seen, you know what I'm saying? My partner go through, you know what I'm saying? My family go through. So what is the best way for you to smoke and what's your favorite thing to smoke with? Man, to be honest, a lot of people say like a lot of people say they like the um the papers, you know what I'm saying? But I don't really fool with the papers. They they burn too quick for me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I'm a, I'm a definite leaf guy. You know what I'm saying? Dutchess, silver Dutchess, you know what I'm saying? That's like my go-to. You know what I'm saying? But Right now, tough. I've been on the motherfucking uh, honey swisher leaves. I've been on them shits tough. I've been on them shits tough. Cause I ain't really no backwood nigga. I don't really smoke woods like that. You know okay. What I'm saying? But I like smoking big fat blunts, you know what I'm right. saying? Right. So I like them. I like them honey leaves cause you can roll them big fat blunts like that. You cut them like you do your thing. You know what I'm saying? So that's my favorite way to smoke out them, out them leaves. You gotta wash your leaf off. You gotta have a tip on your leaf too. Yes, sir. You gotta have a tip on your leaf. Gotta wash it. Got to wash it. You don't wash your leaf. Yeah, that's why that's why people don't really like smoking backwoods. Cause people like them shit nasty. But that's cause your man's or whoever rolled that shit, they didn't wash off the leaf. You know what I'm saying? You gotta wash your leaf off, you know what I'm saying? You got to, that's mandatory. If you don't wash your leaf off, I can't smoke with you. You know what I mean? You can't do it. So let everybody know where they can follow you and check your music out. Man, goddamn iTunes, Young Corn, Y-U-N-G, Q-W-A-N, Facebook, Young Corn, um, Snapchat, New Money Corn, um, goddamn Twitter, <laughs> New Money Corn, goddamn Instagram. I am a long way from trying to flip a zip.